Hey everyone, this is Dylan here, and today we're going to go over a rapid identification system that we have access to in the microlab that allows you to go from specimen to an ID or identification within about an hour and a half. So uh, it's called the Accelerate, so let's get straight into it. So this isn't a, a new um, you know, piece of technology principally. So we've had rapid PCR-based systems for a while now. Uh, for example, allow you to go from respiratory specimen to an ID or uh, you know, a stool specimen to an ID within uh, you know, about an hour or so. But the reason this is different is that it's, uh, your specimen of choice is blood. So you're going from blood to an ID uh, within an hour and a half. And uh, you know, the traditional way that uh, a positive blood bottle or blood would be worked up is that you would have to look, do a gram stain and then you, you would report that. For example, gram positive coxine clusters or gram negative rod. And uh, that was the most information that you could relay to the patient's nurse. And uh, the reason why an ID is important in this system, uh, you know, because an ID wouldn't come until about 24 hours later after you call that gram stain, you know, or 18 hours or so. You'd have to wait for the bacteria to grow on the plate. And uh, the reason it's important to relay that information even faster is because specifically for your gram positive coccyne clusters is that you want to be able to differ differentiate if it's a, a uh, contaminant or not. So this system rarely does that. So we get lots of coagulase negative staphs and that tends to be a contaminant. Not always, but tends to be. And that's very different than if you have staph aureus in your blood, which is almost never a contaminant. So this system will tell you that. It won't, it won't just say gram positive coccyne clusters. It'll specifically differentiate the organism. And uh, when it comes to your gram negative rods, that's you know, almost always bacteremia. It's not really a contaminant. But the reason why the system is still important for that is that it gives you an, uh, a sensitivity within about six or seven hours. So we can really treat the patient with the appropriate drug of choice, uh, you know, if it is a resistant bug. And you do see lots of resist resistant bugs at your larger hospital settings. So we can really help that patient by, tre by treating them with the appropriate drug of choice within seven hours of the uh, bottle coming up positive. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about our rapid identification system, the Accelerate, that deals with blood. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.